Good afternoon, good morning. Isn't it really nice hearing our theme tunes come into light, but with that little bit of a Christmas twinkle? I love it. Really, really nice with the snowflakes. Anyway, welcome to Masterclass. This is Masterclass, which is all about, it's all about animals, but it's all about animals with attitude. What was the, there's a Christmas film, isn't it, where they say something about at attitude attitude instead of attitude it'll come to me you know what i'm like i love my christmas films but it is it's all about the animals with attitude it's a santa claus that's what it was the one with tim allen that's the one love that anyway it's not why we're here to talk about the santa claus we're here to talk about a master class and we're here the one the only you absolutely loved wake up call as we know that you do and you're here again for master class and then later on it's the lovely jan hi jan hi all fed up and watered aren't we ready for we the are next indeed round? yeah it's like quick go and grab a uh, bite to eat back on again and yeah we've got a fantastic show lined up so like the themed one that I did last week with the garden gnomes we've brought the theme in again this week I like the shows that have the theme to them with the animals in this time mm, so yeah. all about the animals in different some of them are stamps some of them are stamp and die sets some of them are dies there's lots of different things um, shall we have a look at some samples yeah, go for it. just Let's to get started it. I think we're going to start with the ones you've got over there which are those lovely animals with attitude stamps so and there's good. some great great images in these if you like your stamping and colouring I always say stamping and colouring but I also add to that that if you're not a colourist you can always stamp onto mm -hmm. pattern papers and they look just as nice you know if you've got papers lying around that aren't too busy stamp on those and use those instead so we've got that gorgeous little elephant amongst this uh, collection just popping them to whatever design you like they're just a little bit of fun all the right, so we've now. got the llama in that one. What does he say? Have a llamaous day or a glamorous day. Oh, cute. <laughs> They're great, aren't they? I love this. This is one of my yeah. favourites. I love these guys. We're going to stamp him out in a second or two, and I'll show you how I've used him on my, uh, my design today. And then we've got the flamingos there. So fun. It's, uh, they're just a really, you know, it's like, it's just and the, the sentiments that go with them are just that little bit sort of, bit goofy almost. Mm -hmm. But it's, uh, it's, it's just, you know, if you've got somebody that just wants a little bit of a laugh when they open their card, <laughs> the little zebras that. look, yeah, simply wild about you. And then at the back there, we've got the sloth. The oh. gorgeous, there's, there's, there's a few others as well. Craig's got a whole uh, mm -hmm. lot of them to show you. But I just think they're great fun. I've used three different ones to incorporate them into my card Craig so that we could try and look at different ones Brilliant. So, uh, but yeah that's just a just a selection of one of the items that we've got coming up mm -hmm. we've got loads more to show them haven't we Craig we really really do just to clarify as well Jan did say that we are all fed up with our lunch she didn't say that we're fed up we're all fed up up with our lunch fed just in full up yes yeah. just just to clarify never that fed up never here. fed up here no. never never ever ever and absolutely yeah debbie on youtube it was elves with attitude from the original <laughs> santa claus film which i love but yes yeah, jan was saying it is all about the animals with attitude however what we do have been in december we've got our 12 days of craftmas so every day we've got something specific up till midnight your time and today if you didn't see wake up call is about triple points on all your orders so right up till midnight your time whatever you buy whatever you purchase whether it's one item 10 items 20 items whatever it is that you're going to purchase you're going to get triple points now remember every pound you spend or dollar or euro you're going to get one point so think of it now you're going to get three for every one so just to keep that one in mind midnight your time but what we will do is we'll have a very quick recap when it comes to our club inspire because although we put out those videos with sarah for you to have a lot more information it is across on our website and talking about our website it's here now when it comes to our points once you get to 250 points you're going to become a bronze member that means you're going to get five percent off all of your orders then when you reach 500 points you're going to become silver and that means you're going to get 10 percent off all of your orders then when you reach 750 points you are going to be gold member that means you're going to get 15 percent off your older gold <laughs> member sorry <laughs> and uh, don't you apologize anytime Jan anytime don't never apologize love oh. hearing that and then if you get to 1500 because you become a platinum no it doesn't work does it no. you become platinum 
platinum Platinum member, which means you're going to get 20% of all of your orders, which is phenomenal. We've got lots of other, kind of say that, don't like saying terms and conditions, essentially the boring stuff, but if you want to know all about it, it is across there on the website, but that's the key things that you need to know when it comes to our Club Inspire as well. So midnight you time, and I'm not not going to apologise for saying it all throughout Masterclass, because I do want to remind you that you've got your triple points, whatever you buy, when it comes to uh, midnight your time. Now what you might want to go for if you've not already got your hands on these and this is the first time we've seen the whole collection since June. So that's going on it's just shy of six months since we've seen this as a whole collection. This is what we're going to be having a look at first and foremost with Jan. Now on that today's price $29.94 or $41.70 you are going to get a really phenomenal saving of 25%. So if you're not in Club Inspire everyone would then pay that price. Great, brilliant. But if you are in Club Inspire and you're actually platinum with your 20% discount, it means that's going to come down to $23.95 or $33.36. Now we'll show you the Club Inspire again later on, but what I will tell you as well, if you've never shopped with us before, join Club Inspire on our website, it's completely free. And your very first order, whether it's one item or 20 items, as long as it's all in one order, your very first order, you will get 20% off your first order. So if it is the first one, you would get it at that platinum price, whether it's this, something else later on, or what Jan's shown later on in the evening. It's your first order, you get 20% off. But let's have a look at the animals with attitude here. Before we go in as well, we've got Rachel once again on the social. Any questions, anything you want to ask, you know, we've got Jan in, which it's such a help to all of us because Jan is always methodical and step by step, explains things really. I mean, the way she explained the heat tool earlier on, ways that I never thought. It's, it's just the teacher still in me, yeah. Craig. Can't get rid of her. Still so, there. Well, and that's something <laughs> we never want to get rid of. But yeah, send the comments through and we'll have a look at them throughout the show. But here we go. Animals with attitude. So Jan was showing you a few fin sample as to what you can create. But we have got, you are a llama fun. Now you've got three different llamas, three different stances, but it's about the sentiment as well. You are a llama fun, no prob lem llama. That's just a few, you're such a drama llama. I mean, that's a good one, isn't it? Really, really good one. You'll find all of these as well, in my opinion, are quite easy to colour. They are, not overly yes. complicated. Yeah. For instance, you've got the, I'll stand by you. Look at that one. Absolutely stand tall cute. and be fabulous, darling. Absolutely. It's like... <laughs> Absolutely. Three different stances as well. So back to front, up, down, through, drop shadows. Whatever you want, you can do it. Or just do one with the sentiment. You know, stand tall and be fabulous, as Jan says. I'll stand by you. Be... I can never remember what that one's saying. Be flamazing, flamazing. Just a few of those sentiments is an idea. We've got camel kisses and wishes. It's so funny. It's the expression on their faces as well. Don't have the hump. I just love the sentiments with the them. Good, I just think you it? couldn't help if you received a card with these on. You couldn't help but smile, could you? Can, you? No, you can't. You yeah. absolutely can. You know, you've got camel kisses and wishes. You've got happier than a camel on hump day, <laughs> which ironically, Wednesday, hump it day. It is. So yeah. you've got them as well. All of these have got same character on each set, but in three different stances, as I say. You've got the sloth mode on. This is one I think, Jan, has been a real favourite for many. It's different, isn't, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. I, I don't recall seeing that on an, an, in other stamp sets no. at all. No, not at but all. Yeah. You know, I love you, a sloth. Just one of the sentiments. Then we've got our elephant here. I love you a ton. Live your best life. Make a splash. Then within this one, you've got the two of them. One of uh, my favourites as well is Jan. Mm-hmm. Look at that one there. In many ways, either singularly or have the heads just popping out, the necks coming in at different angles. It's such a cool one to do. We've got stand tall and be mine. We've also got reach for the sky. Different fonts when it comes to the sentiment. We've then got our zebra. We've got our wild things. We've got happy birthday dudes. We've got simply wild about you. You've got them there with these uh, goggly eyes as well as the tongue sticking out. 
We've got the panda bear having a wee dance, having a sleep, or having a pina colada, or many other cocktails that may be having. Party time, time to boogie. You are panda stick. Then, that's it. <laughs> I was about to pick up my next board there and it's gone. I'm just too busy concentrating on looking at all the fun, quirky sentiments that you've got there. Now, in total, that's 68 stamps that you've got. Animals with attitude, $29.94 or $41.70. You are saving your 25%, but platinum comes down to $23.95 or $33.30. Six. Now we're going to go straight to Jan. I can see lovely comments coming through, but it is a masterclass, so let's jump across to Jan and then when we come back, we'll have a little read as to see what you are all saying. Jan, it's over to you. Right, so I thought what I'd do is actually incorporate and mix them. So on my card today, I've used the flamingos, I'll stand by you. I've used the giraffes, which are reach for the sky, and I've used the zebras, which are simply wild about you. So, we, we, you know, you don't have to just use one set. No. So we'll stamp one of those out and just do a little bit of colouring, but I do have them sort of prepared ready, because, like, unless it's a colouring show, um, we don't tend to spend so long on the actual colouring. But, no. you know, you see the packets here, but then when you look at them, they are a good size stamp, you know, so this is not indicative of the size of the stamp, the bit on the front. So here we've got all those different ones. And I mean, my piece of cardstock underneath here is an A6 piece of cardstock. And you can see, you know, we've got all those within that A6 mm -hmm. area. So I'm just going to take this little guy out of here and stamp him out for you. Do a little bit of colouring and then, as I say, I've actually put him into the design ready. So I've got my stamping platform. I'm going to use my alcohol markers on this one. Now, when I left on um, Thursday last week, I was I challenged myself because the guys knew I was coming back today. And I challenged myself to use something other than alcohol markers. Right. So later on, I've got some other colouring mediums. Oh. So I've got the markers here to start with, but because these are my go-to colouring go -to. implements. I love my tri-blends, but we've got some colour blend pencils popping in. I've even done some colouring with the inks later. Mind you, I'm not sure we're going to have to see that one. One of our products has already sold out, Craig. Mm -hmm. So we can't show you that one. Nope. And I think that's the one that I'd use the inks to colour with, but uh, never mind. Typical, isn't it? So I'm just going to stamp him out. I've just got a little bit of Nina cardstock, which is my preferred card for all my colouring with the alcohol ink. Um, if I need it to be more robust, I can always back it onto another piece of card. But for actually stamping and having that smooth surface to work with. But just look how well. That's just one press of the stamp. And he's a good size. I think if we have a look at him in total, he's probably just over three inches tall. So let's just move that platform out of the way. And all I've done is just chosen two colours for him. And I've got my piece of scrap card to, uh, to rest on. And I've chosen the tan blend and the earth brown blend, which are out of our essentials box of um, tri-blend markers. Okay. So we're going to use the tan blend for the majority of him. And again, you know, like I've said before, you colour as much or as little as you want. I am purposely just going to do this one with one tone of the pens right. so that we're not doing the shading on the examples i've put together for the card i've done the shading but just for speed and just to show you that they can look equally as nice i'm just going to lay one layer of color down and not do the blending on this one because i know wednesdays we often sort of do pay tribute to our newer crafters we do, yeah so people that may be just starting their journey in craft and it may be that you're not up to that level yet so you know the last thing we want to do is do all this fancy coloring and shading and put everybody off i just want to yeah. show you that it can be just as good of course it can, with just yeah. that one layer so all i'm going to do is just use that i'm using the lightest of those three tan tones at the moment just to color in the main part of the giraffe and then i'm going to bring that brown blend in to add the little patches mm -hmm. on we've got george of the joystick in the building today so we're getting a really good close-up as to we have we i've doing, not Jan. seen our george for a couple of weeks now so it was nice to see him today lucky you it's just where it lands, isn't it, as to who's in. We've got a fabulous team that work behind the, uh, the cameras there. And, you know, they don't get seen very often. But, they don't. Uh, but, yeah, we couldn't do our job without no. them, to be honest. So, you know, it's like Craig was saying earlier, you know, and when you see the, um, the little video clips that we show you, you know, it's, it's not just saying it, it is. There's a lot of people work behind the scenes. You're the pe we're the person that you see, you know, our faces on screen. 
but we couldn't do this without all we the rest of the production uh, team. As well as George, we've got so Jamie as well today in the gallery. So Jamie's producing, it. isn't he? he is and our George's vision mixing. They're all terms that I have no idea what they mean, but they do a fantastic mm. job. It's like we've all got our own skills to bring, haven't we? We do indeed. I, I believe as well we'd say Jamie's producing and uh, George's directing. Directing, yeah. isn't he, on that vision mixer? All his little, uh, all these buttons little terms, and things. Eh? Yeah. He pushes buttons. He pushes George. buttons. George. Yeah. <laughs> No, he pushes buttons know. at the right time, though. There's he, definitely he, a, he, a trick to it, isn't there? Yeah. We if all we're lucky, have, if we're lucky, yeah, yeah we he all does have it at the right great banner time. here. Trust me, I could not do what George or Charlotte does. No, and same goes for Jamie I. and George. Uh, Jamie I know when they have these Johnny. days where you swap roles. Like, no, no, no thanks. Yeah, no thanks. No, I, I couldn't do it. So you know, we we'll, we'll laugh about, but yeah, these guys really do work so so hard to enable you to see. I would struggle to do what you're doing, Craig, let alone do what the guys do in the gallery. Yeah. It's like, I'm, I'm good at showing you things, but actually talking about them, I could do it for a while, but uh, yeah, just the presenting side of it. Mm -hmm. They're actually, just quickly as well, Jan, they're just having a chat about if George and Jamie were to come through here, which one will do the presenting, Ooh, which one then. would do the demonstrating? Yeah, mm. that's a good question, isn't it? It really, really is. Jamie is very, very arty. He is so, so creative. He is on uh, Instagram with uh, a lot of the work he does. So I would say Jamie potentially on the demonstrating side. I think stood side. over here. And then I think George, George is quite quirky as well. And uh, I think he would do well on this side as well. Here we go. You never know. And me and Jan, we'll have a sit through there and we'll just push buttons. I'll just push buttons. Yeah. Well, who knows what could happen? Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> who knows? <laughs> So you can see in just coloured, what I call flat colouring mm -hmm. there. There's no shading. I've not used any of the other elements, just the lightest tones of both the brown and the tan. And he looks equally as nice there. So if I bring the one in that I've done, I've actually popped them in one of our embossing folders. <laughs> if you look at him here, you can just see that little bit of shading adds some depth to him. Yeah. But like I said, take it as far as you want it to. This is great for starting. You can start and practice the blending as you go along. So what I've done, I've used one of our cut and emboss folders, which is the square chevrons, which you'll be able to find on the website. I've not actually brought it on the show, but it'll be on our website. Cut that out of some craft card. And then I've fussy cut these. These don't come with dies, which okay. is why we're able to give you such a fabulous price on the stamps so all I've done is just take my little snips and fussy cut round them and I've done this little guy here you can see that's him I've taken one of the flamingos which happens to be this one that stood here in the corner oh, and then I've just I love this one in his sunglasses with his tongue stuck out so I thought they'd just look cute the sat behind the little windows there so just to pop it together really quickly I've made a card blank and a piece of background paper Get the right pen, Jan. I nearly picked my dots up then. I don't know what you're like, Craig, but I don't like using my dots just for normal. No. They're no. very precious. I tend to keep those for the uh, the die cuts and things like that. Couldn't agree more with you. I get That's quite exactly trust with myself if I pick the wrong one up and start using them just for uh, everyday gluing. Yeah, so that I'm one's like, going to nope. go on as a mat layer. Good and then I've just got some tape, which I've just started some of the elements on here just to bring it up a, a level. Just take some of that off the back. And kadok. And it's so effective, isn't it, if you bring in any of your cutting and boss folders? I love mixing and matching. I know you've been doing some uh, some videos with this, Craig, where you've been using older products, haven't mm, you, with yes. the, the newer ones? And it's one of my favourite things to do. I like sort of mixing and matching what I've already got in my stash mm -hmm. with the newer stuff that comes out. That's the thing, yeah. You so know, that one's just going to lay on top so that we've got a border around the outside. And then we've also got that blue showing through the background. And then I've just stamped a sentiment really nice and quick. I mean, obviously, you know, the time's taken with the colouring on this particular one, but that's the bit that I enjoy. I love the stamping and colouring. You've often heard me say, you know, that I'll stamp them out and then take them and sit in the lounge of an evening watching telly mm -hmm. just with my colours and uh, decide, you know, which, which colour scheme I want to do. But I'm just going to keep it simple like that so that they're just peeking through those little windows. They've come to say hi. And when we stand that up, that's your traditional, what we call a DL size, that slimline card size. So it's about eight inches tall by four inches wide. 
Brilliant, so, so effective. And of course you can do exactly what Jan's done, but maybe bring in some of the other characters yep, that you've absolutely. got as well. It's entirely up to yourself. But these are the Animals with Attitude. That's your stamp collection with 68 stamps. So you can see everything that you're getting there, $29.94 or $41.70. Everyone will get that 25% saving on that today's price if you're not in Club Inspire. However, if you are and you're all the way up at platinum price, you're going to be $23.95 or $33.36. So let's very quickly just dot through the individual boards that you can see here. Great Minds Drink Alike with the Panda, Simply Wild About You with the Zebras, you've got Reach for the Sky with the Giraffes, you have got Huge Birthday Wishes with the Elephant, You've got Sloth Mode on. You've also got Camel Kisses and Wishes. You have got I'll Stand By You. You've also got, let me just turn my talk back down just while they're all singing in the gallery there. They are, yeah. You are a lamb of fun. And just to say as well on that one, so they were singing there a moment ago. Whenever I say reach for the sky, they come out with, uh, of course, Toy Story, Reach for the Sky. Funny how titles of Stamp Dies collection can just spark a song. You know what Leanne's like, you know, oh, every I was with single Leanne collection. Last week, honestly, she was singing all day long, bless her. She was. She was. Brilliant. But yeah, that full collection hasn't been seen since June time as a whole collection. Right, let's have a look at our hero tools. We've got two options for you. This is our guillotine. Now, our small guillotine is available here in the UK as well as for you guys stateside. It is, of course, our small guillotine. And I say small guillotine, still a sizable one, can cut up to 8.75 inches. You've got your metric and you've got your imperial. You've got your easy to grip handle. You've also got your six 0.25 by your 8.75 platform. You've got score lines embedded with a scoring tool as well. You've got your finger guard and one of the main things as well when it comes to the actual blade of the guillotine, Leanne and the team, they went to a sword manufacturer for the blade. So it's super, super sharp. And also it is a self sharpening one as well. So you don't need to do anything for it to sharpen each time. So that one there is going to be a saving of 20%, £20 pound or $31. But if you are platinum for your small guillotine, that comes down to £16 pound or $24.80. You see us using them day in, day out, all the time. And that's because it is unbelievably reliable. We know that every single use. Now, for here in the UK only, we do have our large guillotine. So our large guillotine that you can see here cuts up to a 13 inch capacity. Now, everything I've just said about the smaller one goes the same for this one here. Same as that sword manufacturer that's coming in produced our actual blade for our large guillotine scoring tool. You've got your non-slip rubber feet as well. Now with this one, you have got your extendable measuring ruler. So you've got your extendable arm basically. So then that means it's going to fit up to your 13 inches with the measurements on it as well. Centimetres and inches, you've still got that inbuilt scoring feature with the scoring tool as well. All of that is a phenomenal price here in the UK with a 20% saving, £31, or if you are platinum, £24.80. Or here in the UK, if this is going to be your very first purchase after joining Club Inspire, you will also get it for £24.80. So that's a really, really good one to think about. If you are thinking here in the UK, do go large, go small. If you go larger, it means then you can cut bigger. So just keep that in mind. But that one is your large guillotine. So I did promise we'll have a look at comments. We will do that after we have a look at this little bit of a VT when it comes to Club Inspire, because you might think, well, that's all great, Craig. I'm new here. Or actually, no, I've been buying quite a bit from Crafters TV, Craig. I think I'm going to join Club Inspire, which is free. So here's the boss to tell you all about Club Inspire. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. 
will also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration and of course you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend and the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. If you love Crafters TV, we've made it easy for you to watch us wherever you are. Whether you catch us on your tablet or take us with you on your mobile phone, it's easy to watch us anywhere. From here to here. Maybe don't watch us here. It would be easy to watch us here. Probably the easiest place to watch us is here. Crafters TV with you wherever you are. What makes Crafters TV so special is uh, you guys. It's really special because the the experts are really experts. They're they're um, really skilled at what they do, and they want to make sure that the audience also improves on their skills. Crafters TV is so special because you've got together a really sort of key group of people um, and people that are very passionate about the product. Crafters TV is so special because it's a unique community that we have with each other where we can learn and grow and communicate with each other. The community, the family spirit, the education, everything to do with craft. We are all like-minded people who share a passion. I love all the inspiration the demonstrators bring and all the knowledge for us out here. What makes Crafters TV so special, 100% is the interaction. No other crafting TV channel or show has the same interaction. I love the community, I love chatting live, uh, I think that's the best part and uh, it's gone beyond crafting because we've become friends. It feels to me to be a really, really close relationship with our customers and viewers. You guys make us feel like we're part of your family. I've never been on the show before, but one of my friends who I did meet from CCTV encouraged me and I was on the craft along. Massive team of people and I think they've all got their role to play uh, and it just brings everything together. It allows us to do our job and just love it. Ah, oh, the people obviously, the people not just here at Crafts Companion, uh, but the viewers that watch us, I mean everybody. We have this real magical essence about it. Bye for now. Bye. We've got uh, Suzette. Sue's is saying hi, everyone. Sarah C is saying, oi, oi, my favourites, Jan and Craig. Mwah. Well, mwah. back to you as well. Jane is saying good morning. Audrey from the US of A saying good morning from a wet and rainy Virginia. We've got Zoe, we've got Lillian saying hi Craig and Jan. Debbie Cantwell on YouTube is the one that was saying Elves with Attitude. It was when the Elves tried to break Santa out from prison from the first Santa Claus movie, Tim Allen. They go in with the tinsel and come down and then he says to the guard, we're Elves with Attitude. <laughs> so whenever I hear Attitude, I, I always think of that. It doesn't matter what time of the year that it is. Laurie saying, I love these attitude sets. We've got Sharon saying, love these samples. Fred is saying, Goofy is my middle name. Love these critters. Lisa saying, nice sweater, Craig. Fred is saying, nice sweater, Craig. Well, one saying sweater, one saying jumper. You know, it's I, I like how one item, could be many different items, but for instance, uh, we'll call them jumper usually, yeah. or, you know, stateside will say sweater. Sometimes I'll say jumper, and some of you stateside will think, what's a jumper? What, 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 what exactly is a jumper? It's funny how... The one that I love is that we, we call your bottom half trousers. Yeah. Well, mine as well, I've got trousers on. And yet in the States they call them pants, mm -hmm. which has a whole different meaning. Completely here. different. Could get into all sorts of trouble, couldn't we? Yes. <laughs> I'm just going to take my pants off, mm -hmm. yeah? It's like, no, thank yeah, you. No, no, don't go down that road. <laughs> Completely different. We've got Wolf 
Dark Eyes Moon or on YouTube saying, I love these stamp sets because you're not limited to the size of the project and combinations. Absolutely, yep. Yeah. Really good, really good point. Um, Rachel is actually saying as well, Jamie's paintings are amazing. They are. What I'll do, if it's all right with you, Jamie, on one of your Insta posts, I'll share it up onto my CC story. So if you want to know what we're on about, then uh, we'll do that later on so you can have a look. We've got Christine Mahoney is saying, I saw these online somewhere and I made one with the giraffes in each square and I put graduation caps on them for a graduation Absolutely card. Absolutely fantastic, yeah. Really good idea. It's a idea. great idea. Uh, going back to what you mentioned, Jan, about some of the, the videos that I do with older items, Kimberly Hardy is saying, Craig, I did really enjoy your something old and something new live been enjoying your advent calendar. I've not stopped them. It's just while I'm doing the advent calendar live, it's not feasible to do uh, you can only an fit so much in, can't on you? top. So certainly yeah. come the new year, I'll start doing it. Because it is, we're, we're doing, I'm the same, maybe you're the same as well, John. You forget, uh, no, well, yeah, you forget about sometimes the things that you've bought in the past and it complements some of our new items now. Yep, yep. Put them together. I, I really love mixing and matching them, I must admit. And there's certain things that are go-to. Yeah. You know, like that, that embossing folder that I've just used, the cut and emboss folders, they're on the shelf at the side of me because they make a good backdrop for a lot of different things. It's nice. Yeah. It's really good to do. A couple more for now before we go on, because let me tell you, you're going to love the next ones. We're going to show you as well. We've got uh, Wolf, Dark Eyes, Moon, Water on YouTube. Always have to say that slowly as well. Not because I think I'm going to slip up or that. It's just the name of the it's handle. Lovely, it's isn't it? yeah. brilliant. Craig, would you mind if you send, if I send you all my fussy cutting that I need done? I understand you're the master fussy cutter. That, I do have to say, very, very slowly. <laughs> Do you know what? If I had time, I would happily do it. Um, but yeah, I just do it. A bit like Jan with uh, your Again, colouring. Again, sitting in front of the TV. That's yep. it. Get it all ready in the, in the craft room. And then I've got a, a lap tray. And just sit and do that of an evening, yeah? So yeah. you've got everything ready. Um, uh, Selv, well done. You spotted our game. You, put, you, you, you noticed we had an extra zebra pack there. We were having a little bit of a game. Wink, wink, it wink. Just, it just... Just gate crashed the party he did, didn't he? Did, he did, didn't he? Yes, came in without even being invited. No, That's why didn't. they're animal antics, you see. Um, so, yes, uh, well spotted. Thank you for letting us know as well. So, yeah, it is your eight set, uh, and you do get one zebra set for sure. <laughs> um, keep your comments coming in, any questions as well, fire them across, and uh, I will then also then send them across to Jan as well. Now, I did say you're going to love these ones as well, if you've not seen these. And these are our everyday and Christmas animal antic stamp selection. Now, you're going to get 21 stamps here, £23 or $31. Platinum price is going to come down to £18.40 or $24.80. Now, if I quickly go back to that, today's price, you've got a saving of over 35% really good saving here and these again are really fun and they're quirky we have got ba humbug i mean look at this it's so it's so cute but he's a ba so humbug pug. pug yes ba me, hum pug. Pug. get that one right <laughs> ba, ba. it's not easy to say is it no ba it's not hum pug. pug you have to take a break there because it naturally flows into a humbug doesn't yeah, it yeah it really hum does pug. So bad. They're just so cute. Pug, pug. I love all the little lights around his, uh, his, his antlers. It's, it is a, a really cute one. And what's lo uh, lovely as well, Jan, and might, this, this might be minimal, but the sentiment is actually separate. Yes. So you can have it with or without. And that is a big thing for many of you as well. You like it when it's sentiment. Yeah. Because you've got that option. We've then also got it's penguining it's to look a lot like Christmas. To look a lot like Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> I just think again, store. they're such fun, these. And they are fun, and that's the thing. And it doesn't matter what one you're going to be using, you're going to be humming or you're going to be singing along to them, colour them in whichever way. You've seen some of the ways Jan's shown you the previous stamps, but you can follow on suit or change it up. It's entirely up to yourself, but you've got your penguin. We've got, if you do love your. Uh, um, I was about to say llama, it's not a llama on this one here. We've got our bay alpaca. Baby, it's cold outside, 
alpaca my scarf. <laughs> alpaca my scarf. Absolutely, you certainly need it at the moment. Certainly here in the northeast, very, very cold. So that's not it though. What we've then got is our cats. We've got our cats here, so you've got your three stamps here, full cat image plus your two sentiments. We've got, you know, that, I'm not gonna say scary cat, but you know, a cat that's got attitude, should we say. You've got your cat as well, and then we've got the most gorgeous bunny rabbit, rabbit. as well. You've got all of these ones. This is why we're saying it's the everyday and Christmas, because you've got your everyday, and then you have also got what you could be using. Yes, for Christmas, but you know, if they're uh, all wrapped up, you could use them as a winter card, not necessarily Christmas themed if you don't want to, but you've got all of them, 23 pound or $31. You've got that really nice saving, but platinum price does come down to 18 pound 40 or $24 80. Please don't forget as well, right up till midnight your time, you're going to get triple points on everything. So maybe, maybe you're one that's got all the collections we are showing today. Maybe you are wanting to go for set ones. Maybe you are just wanting to top up on your Nina card that you've seen Jan being used and maybe some of the pens, maybe just some of your tape runners. I believe we've got our straight tape runner in stock. Our dotty came in, went out already. <laughs> Anything like that, you are going to get your triple points up till midnight your time, wherever you are across the globe. Uh, keep the comments, questions coming in, but we are going to jump all the way across to Jan and see what we're going to do now. So we're going to have a look at that little penguin Craig and I'm going to show you a different way of, of coping with the stamp this time. So again these are really really cute stamps and a lovely little size to work with. Again the size on the front here isn't indicative. You can see he's much bigger in real life there. So the stamp itself, the little penguin, again is about three, three inches about, yeah, about three by three. And then you've got, like Craig said, the sentiments are separate, so you can position wherever. So what I've done, um, I've done exactly the same technique with my stamping platform. And I've actually stamped it into a four inch square, if I remember rightly. Yeah, four inch square. Again, my Nina cardstock, because I wasn't sure at the time when I stamped it what I was going to do with it. And then I thought, right, we'll do something different this time. So instead of getting the colours and the crayons out, what I've done is I've gone and had a look through my scrap box mm -hmm. and I've got lots and lots of little pieces of the different colours and I've stamped and fussy cut elements of that stamp so you can see here I've got the whole thing done in grey as a base and then we're going to layer up certain elements so you can see that the presents just that bottom piece I've got the scarf there okay we've got the bow Okay, and then I've just left the uh, the hat there just to show you, you know, it is relatively simple to just follow the lines where the uh, the stamping is and I've not left any gap round it this time. Quite often when we cut on the white card, mm -hmm. we leave like that little white edge around it just as a border. Yeah. This time I'm actually cutting right up to the inked line art of the stamp that I've stamped it out. Now for this particular technique, it doesn't matter which ink you use because we're not going to touch it with any kind of um, colouring medium okay. at all. I'm just going to use the colours of card to actually showcase the stamp. We're going to layer them up and we're going to make this little sort of penguin but we're just going to use the cardstock. Now this is all my textured card and I keep it all separate from the other bits and pieces because I do like to use the textured card for things like this. So whether I'm die cutting leaves or flowers or butterflies, the texture, I don't know what it is about the textured card, it just gives a really nice finish. So you can see nice, that didn't it? take long to cut his little hat out. And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna use the stamped one as a base, and I'm okay. gonna take some of my liquid ink this time, and this is our tacky glue. All right, so I'm gonna start off with the actual base, and I've cut this one out in total, so that what I didn't want to do was get lots of different levels with the different pieces of cardstock. So I thought if we start with a whole one, as the base. Okay, that's a good tip that, yeah. And then I'm going to use my tweezers to just lay this over the top of the whole thing. So just where we've got that stamped image and you think, might think, oh yeah, where's this going Jan? But bear with me. Where is this going Jan? So again, I've got his little face here, look with his, uh, anything oh, that was white and the little 
a little pom-pom at the end of his hat. So we're going to go with, in fact, I need to put the pom-pom on that layer, look. So we're going to pop this one over the white, over the red. Now you can actually cut this off and lay the pom-pom in. There's no right and wrong way of doing this. The same as you could cut the sort of fur edge off mm -hmm. his hat. But I just think layering it up, it just gives it, it's a little bit easier than cutting into some of those smaller little fiddly places. So again, I've done the whole hat and we're gonna lay that one down. So that gray's gone all together now already. And then I've left the fur on here because that fur's gonna ah. be white along with his face. And the only little bit of coloring I've done is I've just added a little bit of orange because it was such a tiny little piece. I thought I'm bound to lose that in transit. So I've just added a little bit of color with one of my markers to his little nose there with an orange pen. So you can see now, then the back bits here, I want to leave with the gray for the penguin. So then we're gonna pop his scarf. And again, I've not cut round it in total because I'm gonna have some layers over the top of it, which will show the detail. So when I've cut this one, you can still see that there are some elements of the bow attached there. And then we've got the little present. So all I've done is just take each individual piece. I've just stamped them out. Sometimes you don't need to even ink all the stamp. So for this part, for example, you can just ink the bottom half of the stamp. Right, yeah. Uh, rather than do the whole thing, if you, you know, if you're just literally using scraps. But you can see them coming together now. And then again, I've gone for the bow with the little piece that wraps around the parcel. So that's going to lay across the top again. All right, so it's just something different to show you. Jan, whenever we're on together, you know, you, you all, whatever it is you do, it are always incredible. But there's always one card or one project or one style that you do where everyone goes crazy. <laughs> it's just something I, different. This is going to be it. This idea showing what you can do instead of colouring with your pens, colouring with your scraps. I think I think well, actually, they have comments that start to come in going, "Wow, what a great idea!" Well, this is the bit that I like to do, Craig. It's like I said to you earlier. I says all our products have a concept behind them. Our Leanne and her team spend a lot of time developing those concepts. For this is what this particular product was meant to do. Now, I always start with that usually. So, a wake up call this morning. I've shown you how certain things work but I like to look at what else you can do with it mm -hmm. it makes a product more worthwhile I think it's like if you're buying something that does one job that's great if it's on at a fantastic price like we've got today absolutely fine but if it can do more than one job it starts making that purchase more worthwhile and more justifiable to me so literally all I've done there you can see it's the same as coloring him in he looks as if he's colored but he's just he's just paper piecing at the end of the day with those scraps and then I don't know whether this will stick uh, dry. I've just got a little tiny tiny bell which I thought would look great on the uh, the edge yeah, of his hat it? there I don't know, it's not as big as the pom-pom on this hat. I'm not sure about that one. But again, you know, the tacky glue would work fine with that. And then all I've done is I've put a piece of foam. I use the um, cheapest chips. You know, the um, you can buy it in a lot of the craft stores. It's just kids' play foam. Oh, yeah. So if yeah. you've got large areas to cover, instead of using, you know, a whole sheet of your, your foam pads to put on the back, I just buy these, and I usually buy white and, and either black or a dark colour if I'm working on darker colour card. And you can just cut it. If you've got something that's totally flat like that, you can just see that there's a slight edge to the card. I've just cut it about an eighth of an inch smaller, and it means I've got a nice flat surface to work with then. So again, I'm going to use my tacky glue onto the back of this because it's not card stock I'd always go with the tacky then okay so my, my I think I need to clean it there's something blocking my little Is nozzle that? today so yeah let's just free that up a bit there we go look good idea about that uh, kind of like that foam in your yeah uh, I usually buy it I think it's something like I don't know where I bet about, about 20 pence a sheet for an A4 sheet it's, it's not expensive at all. And I just keep a stash of it for this kind of thing so that you've got that full coverage rather than it being, um, you know, I mean, the foam pads for the smaller elements, but with that just being a whole area that I want to stick down flat. And I've just popped it onto some of our ice blue luxury mirror card just to pick the blue out of the present. Wow. There. And then I thought, again, rather than doing it as a card, 
let's just make a little gift box. It's the time of year where we're sending gifts, you know, mm, we're receiving art. gifts. So again, you know, don't forget that all of these products can just as easily be the feature on a gift box as it can on a card. So I've just cut some little strips to finish this one off. I've got the base already um, laid ready. And this one is just, I think I made it about four and a half, yeah, four and a half inches, just so that that little mat and layer will sit nicely as a feature on the top of it. And because we've already stamped the sentiment in the sort of layout of the stamp, I don't need to worry about adding anything else to no. that. No. So I'm just going to let that little stamp do the talking. These are just, again, some scraps that were left over from a different project. Nice way to use them. As I was uh, thought a moment ago, just just two for now, just while we're seeing you doing that, Jan. Yeah. Zoe is saying, Jan, this idea is fantastic. We'd never have thought of doing that. We've got Kimberly saying, I have an entire bin full of scrap cards. Yeah. This will um, that I would love to use up. This is fantastic. That's just two of many saying along the same lines. And it doesn't have to be this stamp set. You can do that technique with any stamps. It is literally like paper piecing a die, mm -hmm. but doing it. And you can do it, you know, sometimes your stamp might lend itself to being done on a pattern paper. So if, for example, you were stamping something out that was a, a fairy or a little girl or something like that, you could use a floral paper for the, the dress or the skirt. Can, can, so, yeah. so many different ways. And it's a great little scrap buster as well as I say just just sort of using those scraps up and uh, I have tons of them yeah you can imagine over 20 years worth I have to keep going through them and just oh no I'm gonna have to throw that bit away you know that little tiny that inch bit, square yeah. that I saved just in case I might have to throw that one away yeah I went through them when I was tidying up the other day uh, and I sorted through this one actually when I went for these pieces I'd got the most ridiculous little tiny pieces of textured card left and I thought there's a time comes where you've just got to be brave you do, don't and say you? goodbye to some of them, yeah. yeah. So recycle, they all went in the recycling bin, so I'm, I'm doing my bit. Mm -hmm. And then again, I've done the same. I've done the base slightly deeper, so it's the same principle, but I've gone for an inch and a half on the base in depth, whereas the lid's just an inch, so it's actually going to show a little bit... I wouldn't normally decorate the base of the box as much, but because there's a difference in the depth of the sides, I thought it would be nice to have that same paper yeah. on the bottom there. You can also pop paper on the inside if you wish, but again, you know, just to pop a nice little gift in there Love and just that. have him, you know, perhaps a little gem in the centre of his scarf or something like that. Just really, really cute, and mm -hmm. they're so much nicer than... I mean, there are some nice gift boxes that you can buy out there, but they're not personal. You know, they're, they're generic. They've been made in their thousands to put into the gift shops, whereas something like this is much, much more personal. Decorate it in however you wish, you know, whatever colours you wish. I went for the craft card for the box, but you could use the Centura Pearl. You could use the multi-purpose card and stamp on it. Yes, so yeah. many, Honestly, so many different things. You know what you can you can do as well. Maybe obviously I'm I'm not a parent or that, so I don't know. Maybe if you would want to do this, but say you are making a card for someone, you know, uh, to obviously personalise it, and it's going to be very very personal. What you could always do is either get your young son or daughter or grandson granddaughter. You know, you know when they do their and I mean this with all due respect, you know, there's scribbly pictures and that. Oh, they have a play. Yeah. Then stamp and cut those out. Absolutely. And then they've had their little hand in designing. Oh, that, that is scarf, a lovely idea. Yeah, as yeah, if that was the pattern paper. That was the pattern paper. My Toby would love that. Yeah. He's into making his designs at the minute. He's just starting to think about, you know, sort of, uh, he can do the kisses on a card. He does the kisses. That's yes. about as far as he's got. But yeah, just, just cutting into those little pieces, wouldn't that be lovely? Yeah, really. Nice just sending a thought. little bit of them as well in the in the design. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or I mean, you know, just wrapping paper, just, things like it. that. You know, it doesn't have to be you know your pads of paper if you don't want to. It can just be little scraps of wrapping paper that you've got left over. There's so many different ways of just doing essentially what is paper piecing. Mm -hmm. uh, but again, it takes away. I know not everybody's thing is colouring. I know no. I rave about it. It is my thing. I love it. I find it very relaxing. I find it very therapeutic. But it's not everybody's thing. So just showing your alternative ways to maybe do something and add the colour 
you know, that's what we're here for, isn't it? It really is. It absolutely is. And I knew it. I told you. Comments will go crazy and <laughs> absolutely are. This one is your everyday and Christmas animal antic stamp selection where you're getting 21 stamps in total. £23 or $31. But if you are platinum, that's going to come down to £18.40 or $24.80. This is what you're going to be getting. So we'll go these through these relatively quickly because we did take our time earlier on before Jan's demonstration. But you have got your sentiments that are your quirky punny ones that are separate to the stamp, so you can use them with or without. We've, that was your kind of Christmas selection. Then we're going into our everyday ones that we can see here. So we've got our pussycats, and then we've got our bunny rabbit as well that you can see here. So this is what you are going to be getting. So 1840 platinum or $24.80. Don't forget you will, of course, get your triple points right up till midnight tonight. Right, here we go. This has been so busy and I'm not surprised. This is our brand new Crafters Companion heat tool and your four piece stamping foam. Now these are available on our website separately if you so wish. However, as always, the best value is going to be together. $29.98 or $36.90. It is platinum, $23.98 or $29.52. What I would say as well, and I know you will always do this anyway, just make sure that you're on your right website only because voltage of course is different and we've got the right voltage for here in the UK. Same for you guys stateside so of course I know you would do it anyway but make sure you are ordering from your um, website your, your uh, actual website and you'll be absolutely good to go what we will do as well if not throughout masterclass then later on in be beautiful beginnings we do have a swatch pad that shows you some of the different things you could use your heat mold with but when we're not live always go back to launch party yesterday with Debbie and also yesterday's wake up call where Debbie demonstrated what you can do with it but in the meantime it is there on the website everything is on shop the day that's the best place to go whether it is any of these or just essentials you want to stock up on crafterscompanion.co.uk.com or .eu righty talking about being very very busy lots of people have got items in their basket I think you've been having a peruse and take advantage of the triple points so what we're going to do is we'll give you a couple of moments to check out your baskets and we'll come back after this Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. So, join our family of craft experts with live tutorials and demonstrations every day. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products here on Crafters TV. Get creative and craft along with our amazing deals. Your next craft project is only a click away. Tune in live seven days a week or watch on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook or our YouTube channel. You can chat to us, craft along and meet new friends in our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. Do all that time with each other! <laughs> You're not through to boot camp. Get off! <laughs> There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. So, stop what you're doing and enjoy the fun here on Crafters TV. I think I've always been a little bit crafty. Um, I used to craft when I was very young. And I say craft, I used to take a needle and a cotton and sew all my own clothes, tie dyeing and things like that. South Yorkshire is a gorgeous place. Barnsley in particular, I love. We get a lot of flack, but it's a really beautiful, picturesque place to live. Especially because there's lots of green places around there, lots of lovely um, parks and things like that. But it is a gorgeous place to live. So the people who inspire me, well, the people who inspire me most, especially into craft, was my auntie Jean, who's no longer with us, but I give her always a big shout out because she absolutely introduced me properly into the uh, passion of paper crafting. I followed Craig for a long time before he actually joined Crafters Companion and I always loved his style. I used to follow his blogs, his, you know, all his 
things that you used to do on Facebook and all the various companies that I used to work for. And then I absolutely felt honoured when he joined our team. You know what's lovely about having all this amazing team from Craig, Jan, uh, Debbie, Michelle, Becky. Have I missed anyone? I'm trying to remember. I don't think I have, but it's lovely because they're, they're like-minded people. We love and passionate about craft especially Crafters Companion. So for me, having that lovely team um, is just phenomenal and I wouldn't be without them literally every single day. I have a, a big love affair that has been going now for 40, let's get this right, 40, one years with a certain group called Books Fizz, or as they are now known, The Fizz. When I got that phone call, well firstly, I had the email saying, would I like to come and join? And I used to work in the Crafters Companion store as assistant manager there. But when I got that email, I thought at first, is this a joke? Because I had to check, was this a joke? Uh, but when I actually went for the interview and went through the process, when I got that phone call from Laura, to tell me that they had wanted me on that TV team. That for me to date is the biggest, proudest moment I've ever had working for Crafters Companion in the six years that I've been here. Ah, uh, you've seen uh, our lovely Debbie. She was in uh, over the last couple of days. She's back on Friday. All day Friday, she's going to be here. Uh, we've got Tess on YouTube is saying that you have this one, meaning the, the penguin stamp Jan was using, but haven't opened it yet. I bet you will now. <laughs> bet you will. We have also got, again, Jan, just so many people saying how much they love that idea, never thought about that idea, but so simple. That's my job. I'm That's what do I'm it. here for. And I love trying to find different ways of doing things. Yeah, yeah, it really is, really is different ways. Just conscious that not everybody's a colourist. No, you know, you no. and I talk about it a lot. We both enjoy that aspect, but it's not everybody's thing. And I don't no. want people to be put off thinking, I've got, you know, if I'm stamping, I've got to colour. You don't have to. Yeah. You and make it work for you. Yeah, and you get, you get many that like colouring but it doesn't matter how much tuitions would come out with some some people just can't always grasp the shading yeah. aspect to yeah. it so it's a good way to show either as you were shown earlier just one tone yep. or there is other alternatives are, as yeah. well that you can absolutely do um just a couple before we have a look at our next product we've got j uh, r e c m not sure how to pronounce that, so I, I'm not going to attempt to, but we've got uh, on YouTube saying, Craig, I just bought the advent calendar because of your Facebook lives. That's really kind of you to say. If you were lucky yesterday with our 12 days of Craftmas yesterday, there was an extra discount and our advent calendar was in it. So as I was saying, by the time you get it, of course, the lives will have been finished, but they're still there on my social that you can go back to time and time again and watch it. Uh, I will be doing today's one live as well so once myself and Jan's finished for the day give me an hour or so so 9.15 here in the UK or 4.15 Eastern time 1.15 Pacific time I'll be live for an hour we'll open door number seven and we'll see what we can create it's a with good that job one. he's only around the corner just as it? well I know <laughs> Just I as well. Go, I don't get home all 10 o'clock. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just finishing my life by that point. <laughs> Give or take 15 minutes. Um, yes, yeah, so uh, so that was Jean, I believe that was Jean. So yeah. thank you for saying that. Uh, we've got Wolf Dark Eyes Moon on water. Regarding what I was saying about letting uh, your son, your daughter, nephew, niece yeah. do a little bit of scribbling or that was saying, nope. Not my grandson. He's not touching a thing. <laughs> Remember the pizza. Did you hear about that story? I didn't. No. No. So, yes. So it was when myself and Leanne were on um, Wolf Dark Eyes Moon Waters. Grandson had obviously thought that our Gemini, our small Gemini, was sort of kind of like a, let's just say, a pasta machine. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, put some pizza dough oh, no. through the, I believe it was the mini. Nice, mm -hmm. nice. I can get the, the idea. Yeah, that's good thinking because it's a similar kind of thing, isn't it's it? It's similar. But I yes. can't imagine, yes. Mm -hmm. So as much as... It's banned from crafting. Yes. Le Leanne found it hilarious. <laughs> we did get a few comments saying, so can we do that? <laughs> as Leanne said, please don't do it. That's not, not what it's for. <laughs> Not recommended, not recommended whatsoever. Die cutting only, but it did give us all a little bit of a giggle oh, for bless. sure. So it was the midi, yeah, it was the midi. <laughs> so 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. I think it did work though. But hey, that's not the point. <laughs> right. Let's have a look at some more cute characters. These are our stamp and dies. And on today's price, you're going to be saving over. 20%, £39 or $50. If you are platinum, it's going to come down to £31.20 or $40. Also, just to say as well, regarding our Club Inspire, if you are new, every single show, Jan, I have never done a show, any show, where you've not got your Club Inspire on it. Yes. Every show. Cartload, clearance, craft yeah. fault, every show you and get your club inspired. the fact that it's free to join as well, it's like such a lot of clubs you have to sort of pay to sign up to, mm -hmm. which is not it's totally free to join on the website. And there are so many benefits, but that's Sarah's way of saying thank you to all her customers. She's very well aware that without you guys, we wouldn't be stood here what we're doing. So yeah, it's just a way of saying thank you in that means of um, getting your discount and, and keeping that discount into the following year as well. I think that's worth mentioning that whatever you end the year on, you will keep that discount all through the following year. You have to start building your points again during that next year. But the fact that if you ended this year on gold, you would receive that gold 15% discount all the way through next year till this time next year. And I think that in itself you know, it doesn't stop at the end of the year and you have to start all over mm -hmm. again. You continue at that level that you're at and that, that means the world. I know when I was working in the store, and Debbie will we'll back this up because yeah. we were both the same, we just went from zero to platinum in the space of a few weeks because there was all those things. It's like a, being a, a child in a candy mm -hmm. shop, you know, just ooh, ooh, ooh. Want it, want it, want it, and then, yeah, they yeah. all let the points rack up, don't they? I always said sure. they were onto a good thing. I've said this many times before. It's like they, we work for the company, they paid us every month, and like most of our wages went mm -hmm. back into the company because yeah. we bought all the products. <laughs> yeah, uh, 100%, 100%. So, yeah, just a good thing to point out as well just in case you're wondering because I know we've got some like cartloads and that coming up shortly yeah. but anyway this is all about the cute characters as I say so let's have a wee look at these ones before we uh, pop across to Jan because what these are these are stamp and dies so the stamps themselves are full characters these ones are the doggies four different doggies on this one set but what you do have is you've got this die here so you've got a die for each as you see and Jan will explain it in more detail in a moment there's no base for it so that could actually be kind of like a pop out so to say from the top fold of your card you'll see it in some finished examples another way to think about it is an edgeable sort of way but that one is your doggies you've then got some bunny special our stamps are just coming off the board here so if you do want to use the stamps on their own you absolutely can do but look in the uh, the bunny there you have got your two bunnies and you've got two of your mices or mices mice two, yeah mice it's just mice isn't it just mice lots of mice just going back to this one, you've got two dogs and you've got two cats. So you've yeah. got two different animals in each one. And they're all in different poses, aren't they? They so are. Where nothing's duplicated. They're just so cute. They're so they cute. They really are. I, loved, I launched these um, when they first came out and they're absolutely gorgeous. And they're going to tally well with, for instance, that one, maybe some papers from your Be Beautiful yep. collection. Like we said, that mixing and matching. Yep. Exactly. Yeah, your nature gardens, Can you use this one in the demo? How yeah. about this one? the cow and the sheep together and then you have got your little squirrel there's one squirrel. being nuts about you the squirrel they put that one on on purpose don't they in the deer and then we've also got ours and He's otter very and cute beaver, i believe well. really really cute and as you said so in each set you get two different animals and you've got two stamps of each in two different stances so it's a lot of fun so as you can see there are 99 uh, elements that you're getting loads of stamps and also didn't even touch upon those sentiment stamps many of them as well are quirky sentiments that are going to work hand in hand with the set 39 pound or 50 dollars that's giving you a saving of over 20 percent on today's price but if you are platinum or this is your very first order on crafters tv then that come down to 31 pound 20 or 40 dollars as i say jan so fun so cute so many different ways that you can use them there are just great they are honestly as i say i launched these down at our, uh, our tv partner at, at hobby maker and uh, Honestly, they, they were so well received then and I've, I've demonstrated them several times since they've been very, very popular. But the concept behind them again is that they're basically an edgeable. So if you think about our edgeables range, it has a cutting edge around the top 
but it doesn't cut at the bottom so they stay attached to the card so it allows you to sort of pop them along a, a you know a folded edge so whether your edge is across the top whether it's down the size you can see there this one's just been done slightly differently being done on the diagonal there so you can just see again you know how mm -hmm. they can fit let me move that one from the background there and again you know there will be an element in the back of it where you can see the die cut but all we've done is just add a separate piece on to cover it up same with this one it's just got a piece on the back here as to uh, as to where you know that that bit covers up so if you don't like that element in the background where you can see the die cutting then that's the easiest way to get around it this is what i'm talking about look the actual uh, oh, yeah. the idea of it is is that they cut out of the back of the uh can you see where the way is in the way move little doggy oh. there he is thank you you can just see there look where it's cut out so yeah if you don't like that just stick a piece over the back but again you know bringing them onto two separate folds there so we've got them along the top and then we've made this into a little stepper card all right so that was the concept as it was designed but of course you know jan's here again so what else can we do with them can we? yeah so we had a little look and had a little play with them and i'm going to use that you make me happy and it's got the little cow in here in two different poses and the sheep now i'm just using the cow one today i just think they are so so cute they get the name specifically so you've got the little stamp set and you've got two of the characters you've got one sat here and one stood and then you've got the sheep looking forward and him side on couple of sentiments in there that are relevant so you've got just for moo to go with the cow and you've got you make me happy as in the female sheep there and then some embellishments so you've got the little sheep footprints you've got the cow print and a little blade of uh, grass there so what i did then i thought right well, let's have a look what what can we do different so along with those you can see if i pop that little sheep facing forward He's got his die that cuts around the edge of him. You can see here, uh, I just have to turn him over there, but he would fit in this one. So you've just got the top edge of all four of your little character yeah. stamps. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the little one that stood to start off with and I've got a piece of card that I've uh, measured out and because I've got a, a second piece to go with it, I needed to know where to position it. So I've just got a very faint pencil line where oh, yeah. I put the die down and drawn round it so that I can see whereabouts and you'll see why when I put it together but I always do the stamping element first again there's a big thing about do you stamp first do you die cut first I would say to you if you're new to something like this try both ways and see which you prefer there's no right or wrong no. I know some people like to die cut first so that they can see where they're stamping and some people like to do the stamping first so there is no right or wrong way of doing it I personally like to do the stamp part first and then I can see where to put the die. So I'm going to pop him on there, pick him up. I've got some alcohol proof ink. And it's, as Jan says, it's completely up to you because I do it the opposite way. Yeah. And I'm not right or wrong. Jan's nope. not right or wrong. It's whatever you feel comfortable doing. And that's what I say, you know, if you if you haven't done them before, try doing it both ways. Yeah, absolutely. And just see, it's, you know, it's it's like that old, when you were at school and they showed you different ways how to multiply or different ways how to subtract, there'll be one of them that you get. Mm -hmm. And that's fine. You know, that's the one that you can use. So I've got him stamped there inside that sort of little line that I drew. And the line came from the actual die. I'd positioned the die where I wanted it and just draw around it so what I'm going to do now is take a little bit of tape and we're just going to cut round the top of that little uh, stamped element so I'm going to take that out of the way okay and you can see when this is positioned in the right place I can see every bit of my stamped image through there now every single bit so you know that you've got him in the right place I would recommend taping it down because obviously you're cutting out that shape so you don't want it to move and then because it's just a small one we'll pop him on those junior plates and then just pass that but these will fit uh, all the way down to your mini if you're just cutting out the little characters obviously if you're doing them on the edge of a project like I said earlier it depends on the size of the project as to what will fit on the parameters of your plates yeah but it's just a nice simple cut and what happens is is it takes the edge of that little animal so I just need to get my tape off again there and as I say I'm not worried about that top part because that bit's going to be scrap so I just want to make sure that his stamped element 
There we go. And now what's happened is if I trim, and I've drawn myself a little line to follow because I want to create the illusion that he sort of stood on the hill. So I'm just going to cut along with my scissors and take that element away. And then I'm going to come in from this side and I've just drawn a, a, just a very, very sort of quick pencil line yeah. in as to where I wanted it to be. So I've got him on the edge. So I've I'll still work. got my little character on the edge there. I'm going to put the die back so that I don't lose it. And then just a little bit of colour. He doesn't need much colour with him being a, a little cow there. So uh, I've just took out some of my greys and I'm going to go with the mid-tone just in those little patches. And I've got one of these already done because he's going to have a little friend. He's got a, a partner on the hill, which is why I wanted the positioning right. Yeah. So again, you can use any of your colouring mediums. It just so happens, even though I said I was going to use different mediums, that I have actually used alcohol markers, haven't I? I promise the next one is something different. I brought my colour blend pencils with me as well, so we'll have a look at those. Brilliant. So again, just adding a little bit, and this is the ice grey. So just where you think it needs, just in them little patches there. They're really, really cute. Again, they, you know, if you like the colouring, they're just so such a delight they to are, work with. They? And the nice little size as well, you know, they're not so much, you know, sometimes when you've got a large area to colour, it can be a little bit daunting. But these are not a bad size to work with. Remember uh, earlier on in Wake Up Call, Jan, when you were saying about a couple of your tri blends that you're going to have to replenish because you've been using them a lot? You're grazing that The one. amount of time I've had to, when I've been placing an order on our website, put in another ice grey tri yep. blend at once. This is a couple of, couple, well, say about six months, just before I went off for, um, when I had to take time off because of my health, I, um, I needed another one and the warehouse was out of stock. <gasps> oh, I have you never get a bit jittery then, don't you? had palpitations yep. like I did when I seen that come up. So I'd actually, when they did come in stock, I'd bought three. Ah. Uh, so I know that's never ever going to happen to me again. And I know many, many of you can be like that if it's your tape runners yep. or your tacky glue. For me, it's my ice cream. It's either it's my tri cream. blend or my classic. Yeah. So when they've run out like that, Craig, do you just replace them with a classic? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I tend to do. So any of the colours that have actually started to run out, I've got the uh, just that particular. And you've got all your colours on your pen, so you know which one it is that you need to replace. That's it. Yep. So he's there, and then he just needs a little bit of pink. He's got some little pink cheeks. They're really cute. He can have a little bit of pink inside his ears there. And then I need um, the dark one. That same colour. So it didn't take too long no, to it doesn't, does there. It? Because I want this to be the effect that he stood on the grass hill, I've just brought one of my... Um, Harmony inks and this is one of the it opaques it would work with the water reactive as well And I'm just going to load up that applicator and actually cover the bottom of this because I want it to look as if he stood on the hillside So again, just bringing that in As I say it would work with your water reactives. I love my opaque inks. These are my go-to ones They just I don't know what it is about them. It's just the softness to them. I think both and, uh, Yourself and Debbie Fisher are exactly the same, yeah. aren't you? You love your Absolutely love pigment. them. Yeah. So again, just pop that in there like so. And then I'm just going to get rid of that extra there so that we don't get it everywhere. A little bit of water on there, the old cloth, and it's all gone out of the way. And then what I've done is, I said he'd got a partner in crime. And what I've done is I've used that little <laughs> tiny one here that's got the blade of grass on it here and just over stamped with the ink so that it's got a little bit of that grass and they're going to be sort of like love this. Love it. Yeah, as if, <laughs> okay. Love it. So also then you've got that lovely little cow print set. So believe it or not, this has actually all been done with that lovely little cow print. So no I've just way. taken a piece of white multi-purpose card. I used my square nesting dies to cut the shape, decided how wide I wanted it. So I think it's actually, one nesting die, miss one, and then the next one to get that width for the, okay. uh, the, the frame. And then use this just with black ink and just twisted and turned my stamp all the way around. Now I'd actually stamp the just for moo 
inside it but I think it gets a little bit lost in there so I must admit I've sort of stamped it again to use it just with that little matte layer I think it stands out a okay, bit yeah, more so we're going to use it as a stamped image so all I'm going to do then is matte and layer onto the background card so we're actually looking at a six and a half square card I have got some of our matte black card just as a, a matte layer because we're working with mainly the black and white and grey I thought the black would lend itself so that one's going to go on first just to create that matte layer and then a, f a bit of paper I just wanted something in the background so that it looked as if it was I mean it's actually from the vintage butterflies you wouldn't really know that there are a couple you? of butterflies but I just wanted something to look like the background with the sky and the clouds and everything so it was a case of again whatever's out on my desk at the time and just have a flick through and see uh, I don't know about you Craig I have got a million and one paper pads yeah I know I said to the girls I says I shall never use them in this lifetime or next I says so when I'm gone I says just open the conservatory up to the public I says and have a you know like a, a yard sale I says because honestly there's enough to keep everybody going mm -hmm. so this is going to go on here like so that's the actual basis of the card but we're going to pop these little guys in the back so that it looks as if they're stood love that. on the hill so you've got them on the edge but they're not actually on the edge like we showed no. you with the samples so again you know there's, there's lots of different edges that you can work with so I'm going to stick this one down because I think I made those the right size to fit just inside the frame if you want to make them a bit bigger so that the frame covers them totally then you can just extend you know the width of your card I wasn't quite sure where I was going with it when I started, so I'd got the, the pieces of card the same width as the frame. Mm -hmm, and yeah. do you find that sometimes your card sort of evolves with you, Craig, mm -hmm. when you're actually get, sort of getting to making it? You start off with one idea, and then it almost like evolves as you go along. Yeah, and, and funny enough as well, incidentally, I was talking about that on my live, I think it was, was not last night or the night before, and I was saying how many of us on the team do that. You know, if we're prepping for any upcoming shows, there'll be a number of times that our initial idea and what we've prepped, our finished project or card when we go live, may not necessarily be completely different, but it might change but to our I've initial just took idea. a little bit of a turn, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah and it, it can do that. So that one's going to stick on there, and then we'll just use a little bit of the... Um, the glue again on the back of here um, so again you know you could put the second one on with some foam if you wanted to create a little bit of dimension but I'm going to put him in the background so again I think yeah it just fit I think to be honest it was actually the center panel that came out when I die cut so I thought I may as well just use that as well and I'm going to lift that one slightly so that this one yeah I want that one to move up just a little bit and this is a really good way of, of course, I know so That's many, certainly stateside, but here as well, the cost of postage. But this is a good way to show how you can get that depth, but without actually having to use foam pads or glue gel. Not too much. I've just got a little bit of foam behind the frame so that these would actually slot like inside it as if it is a frame. Um, but it's not mega. My, no. my foam tape that I use at home is only one mil thick, so it's not... Uh, well, I've got a one mil and a two mil, depending on what I'm doing. And then all I'm going to do is just pop a little bit on there. I think, as I say, it doesn't quite stand out enough for me, just that it gets lost in that. That design sort of takes over. So just by adding the little mat layer behind it, it just gives that a purpose. And you can just see... <laughs> you can't help but laugh. I don't know whether it's a him and her or a him and him or a her and her. They're just friends grazing in the meadow and they're just cut on the edge of it there. And I think it's just a different way, as I say, of interpreting that character cut on the edge. So on the edge of what? You decide. Exactly. That's the thing. Yeah. You decide. And you can do exactly what Jan's done using them or you might want to change the characters. That's up to you. But it's your cute character stamp and die selection with 99 elements in total. Where is this one... Jan was using a moment ago that you have got your count your sheep but then we have also got our um, we've got our beaver and otter we've also then got our deer and our squirrel we've got our bumblebee and our birdie we have also got our lion and tigers no bears oh my We've then also got our cats and our dog thank you for laughing at that one Jan I appreciate that thank you that just went down like tumbleweed in a lead balloon there, didn't it, in the gallery? <laughs> Nothing in the gallery. 
You've got your cats and you've got your dogs. And then, yeah, I can always rely on Jan. We've got our bunny rabbit and we've got our mice that you can see there. So in each set there, you've got two characters and you've got them twice in two different stances. There. I've forgotten his little friend. You Let me just something. Be, no, you can go no, for it. No. Honestly, I thought I was finished and then I've just been tidying up. And they're actually going to meet their little friend. Look who sat down here waiting for them. Look at that. I forgot. Oh, he was sat on the side here, covered up with something. So this is the little sitting one there. I just popped him in the corner. They're coming down the hill to meet him, look. Brilliant, yeah. Love it. Love that one. Love it. Nice little addition there, isn't it? £39.50, you are going to be saving over 20% on all of that. However, if you are platinum, it comes down to £31.20 or $40 for you guys stateside platinum. Lovely comments coming through. So what we'll do is once we have a look at what we're ready to look at, we'll come back, read out the comments. Uh, I think actually we're going to do Dancing Dragonflies first. Let's go for it. We have got, don't you worry, George, don't you worry about it. He's all apologetic about jumping ahead. Fine, don't worry about it. I think, though, <laughs> it is worthwhile going for this one because it is, George, what is it? No one can hear you, but it's green on the screen, which means you've got it, George. He was there, he was there. This is your dancing dragonflies. There we go, George. Yay! I think we've got a little bit of um, toffee or something stuck in the joystick. Not quite working there. But it is your Dancing Dragonfly selection. We have got an abundance. We've got 10 elements. Now, it's saying 24 sheets of paper. It's at actually, it's better. It is 24 sheets of our 8x8 vellum. So you've got the most beautiful detail when it comes to your vellum. But look down here. You've got coloured vellums as well. So a lovely, lovely lovely selection, really full in actual design. So, you know, you may have the original paper pad, or you probably will know there was a paper pad back in the time. You're not actually going to miss it because you can be using your vellums instead. But you've got your 24 sheet. You've even got your metal charms. You've got 10 of them. You have got five different designs, but then are colours, and you've got two of each. But then what you're also getting is your water lily frame. So you have got your three dies there. You've got your really big substantial frame with your two little uh, dragonflies. One is quite substantial, actually. And then what we've got is we've got our weeping willow. This one is our create a card die. But what you've got is you have then also got a stencil. So then what you can do is you can then start to build up your own scene with the different colours. So you might think, well, Craig, it's a funny looking stencil. All of the imagery that you may want to build your scene with is all in one. You have got some of the waves of the river. You've then got, you know, it could be clouds, it could be mountains, it could be the uh, water lily pads, all of that within their cherry pick. You can then just mask them off with your masking tape so you can use whichever one you want. But it's all there for you to use as and when you want to. It does have an outside die, so it does mean it can cut into your card or cut out of your card. It is limited stock. I, to be honest with you, I did think it was going to go in wake-up call, but we've still got a very, very small smidge left. £30 or $37, but if you are platinum, it's going to come down to £24 or $29.60. So as I say, we will come back and have a look at the comments once we come back. But now, George, let's go. We'll go to a little VT now. This is all about our backstage. Rule VT, George. Who is one of my unsung heroes at Crafters TV? It has to be our lovely John. Not only does he um, corral our um, coordination team together, but he also looks after us experts really well. He comes out to visit the expert house where we need to stay to fix things that are broken. He looks after us. He looks after all, everything that we need. And he even brings me cups of tea during the show. Yeah, I should have said John in there too, shouldn't I? Uh, but we all know John's an unsung hero. Uh, so definitely the Gemini, it may be something that all of us say. Uh, the Gemini is just the most awesome machine out there on the market. It is second to none. It is the most incredible machine that I've ever used uh, and I've been crafting a long time. Definitely my favourite product is a Gemini. Um, I think it's just a game changer being able to have something that can cut everything and I use it for my paper craft as well as my soft craft as well and it really is like a key item. I don't think I could live without that one anymore. 
anymore. Uh, when you come across a machine that does everything that you need it to do and you know it's never going to need updating, uh, you know, it's not like phones where they're going to bring a new one out. The only difference they can do with the Gemini is the size, um, is the colour, um, but the Gemini itself is, uh, you know, proven to be the most amazing product out there on the market. So yeah, it has to be the Gemini. When it started about 20 years ago, um, probably a bit longer because I've always been quite crafty, uh, but I got into scrapbooking. When my youngest daughter was born, I uh, decided to do scrapbooking. I uh, got all this amazing crafty stuff that I put into all these pages. Really, I started getting into card making probably about 15 years ago, and then that was it. I have so many people that inspire me, and I have to say, and I'm not just saying it because I'm a crafter's companion, but Sarah Davis was one of the first people that I got to meet in the craft industry. My mum got me into crafting, so that's my main inspiration. So you can imagine how excited I get when I get to meet Sarah Davis. I mean, when I then got on the design team, when I got to work with Sarah closely, everything from then on was amazing. But my mum is definitely, uh, or was, the most inspirational person in my life through my crafting. Gossip, I can't, I can't give you any gossip. I mean, that's between us. Uh, do you know what? We were just literally in the green room. Uh, uh, everyone, it's just been done out and John's been in there and it's, it's become this place where everyone just comes in and it's just this gossip fest. Uh, and it's amazing because we're all such good friends, genuinely, and I know you all know that, uh, but we have the most amazing time between us all. Me and Craig bounce off each other because we're very similar in our crafty ways, um, but also me and Debbie, we're full of giggles, and uh, me and Jan and Corinne and Michelle, everybody that I work with is amazing uh, on the set and off the set. It's just incredible to, uh, to work at Crafts Companion non-craft facts well I have to say I'm a bit of a singer and a dancer I'm not good at either um, when I was little I did win a disco dancing competition for the school and I come second to a Michael Jackson um, a tribute uh, which I was quite gutted about because uh, I thought I might have might have won that so I used to do a bit of disco dancing uh, and I love dancing I used to be part of an adult dance group um, and it's something I'd like to take lessons We've just all been having a great big chat amongst each other there, just watching Debbie. Debbie's actually here, Debbie Fisher, all weekend with myself. So on Saturday, I'll be on this side and Debbie will be across on Jan's side. And then on the Sunday, we're going to switch. And then Debbie's going to be on this side and I'm going to be across on Jan's side. So it'll be lovely. So, well, I've had Jan, I think Corin's in as well. Then Debbie Robinson's back. Uh, we had Michelle just a couple of days ago or so, or maybe the end of last week. Um, and then, as I say, we've got... Uh, Debbie Fisher as well as myself at the weekend so we're kind of got us all within this week yeah you see it's great it's nice this is one of the very few Sir, I have to say for me what's been lovely is that one of the very few occasions where crossover with many of you all within kind of like yeah, the same week. Yeah, because quite often we don't see each other that much, do no. we? It's like, I know a lot of you know, I'm really good friends with our Debs Robinson. Uh, through working at the store, we, we sort of, you know, forged a really, really strong friendship. But now I'm lucky if I see her, you know, sort of maybe once a month if our paths happen to cross. But yeah, it's been nice having the two of us in today. Mm -hmm. It really, really has. And it is, of course, the reason that's kind of happening with this week, this is Ben and Sarah's final full week of their tour again. So Ben's off all of this week. Yep. So. You know, I know they're having a great time. However, Ben, thank you very much because it means I get to be here quite a lot this week, <laughs> which means I get to work with many of you. Although we are missing Ben, looking forward to seeing him back next week. Right, let's have a look. Actually, I did say I was going to do comments because we were having a wee read while we were watching that backstage video. Mary Reen on YouTube is saying these animals are such adorable and well illustrated images, which that they are, they really, really are. Uh, we've also had Gina saying, uh, Jan, putting the dye back on so not to lose it, big capitals, key advice. 
Lol. I, I speak from experience. The only reason I do it is because I have meant many a time rifling through the bin where I've thrown the bit of card away and oops, my die was still attached to it. So I am talking from experience. Yes. Put it back on the, the, the carrier sheet and then you know where it is. I've got one of mine gone AWOL completely. Gone. Uh, I've got a, 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 it was a, it was one that I'd had down at the TV studios with me and it was a cog. Um, that I'd used to cut some mount board and I think that's potentially gone mm -hmm. in the bin with the mount board and it's, I can't find it. Sounds like my why from my yes. Jamie. Maybe, the, maybe they're having a little party somewhere, Maybe, maybe they are. Why? I don't know, but they are. <laughs> and actually, I've got a question here which leads on actually to what you were saying there yeah. about maybe that your dye is still stuck to the card and it's gone into the bin. Wolf Dark Eyes Moon Water on YouTube is saying, question, Jan. Yeah. If you don't have low-tack tape, could you use painter's tape or washi tape to hold down the dye? Any tape that's got a low tack, the, the only thing that I wouldn't recommend is, you know, something like you can buy the branded sticky tapes mm -hmm. uh, that are meant to stick something together. But yeah, washi tape works beautifully because that is quite low tack. Uh, but don't forget, we've got these in that bundle today. So if you don't have any of the low tack tape, we've got them in that starter bundle. They're also available separately on the mm -hmm. website. And I love the fact that all three of them come on the little carrier. You don't just get one carrier with three rolls of no, tape. No, you don't. You, each one's got its own little carrier on so they are quite handy but if you don't have them then yes uh, I would definitely recommend something like uh, washi tape which is very very low tack what you want to do is to be able to peel it back off without it damaging your card excellent thank you and uh, as Jan was saying they are across on the website so use today to take advantage of your triple points at uh, ends midnight your time We've got a couple more for now as well so going on the card that Jan just made there Fred 171 said I use this cow as a thank you card um, muchas gracias muchas gracias <laughs> Michelle's yes it was a good one wasn't it Mich Michelle is saying, what a moving card. Oh. This is usually the sort of thing we get from Johnny when he's in. So that would set was, us I up. Was, I was mesmerised by when they were on the close-up earlier. I could just see the writing round your jumper, which I hadn't noticed <laughs> earlier. And I was just thinking to myself, does it say ho, ho, ho? Or does it say, oh, oh, oh? Oh, oh, oh it could be either <laughs> or, couldn't it? <laughs> it could, oh, eh? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Yeah. Usually that's what I'm saying when I get an email from our boss, Jen, saying, Craig, can I speak to you in our office? I'm like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> nah, joking. Uh, we've got, <laughs> I'm not really. <laughs> They're saying, no, you're not really. <laughs> Christine Mahoney is saying, welcome to my world, Jan, uh, regarding many paper pads. Well, we know that, oh, Christine Oh, I know Mahoney. that, Christine. I think, I think Christine beats me, in all honesty. I've seen those shelves, Christine. I know how many paper pads are in that lovely studio of yours. <laughs> yeah, and Mary Reen on YouTube saying, what a super card, super cute card, Jan. Thank I you. I love it. Wasn't it just really, really cute? Now, guess what? We're masterclass, so we're going to stick with the animals here. And we have got our Animal Antics Create a Card selection with 25 elements. So today's price, £30 or $40. Look at that good saving. You're saving £18.96 or $17.88. But you've guessed it. If you are platinum, it's going to come down even more to £24 or $32. So what do you get in this lovely set? Now, this is combining our stamp and create cards that we've done eh, not too long ago combined with our die create cards and what we've got here oh there we go oh we're disappearing oh, oh, oh we're totally gone the camera's in a world of its own but what we have got is we have got our stamp and die create a card so the die will then die cut kind of like that aperture in the shape of said stamp so you can stamp it as Jan said earlier whatever you feel comfortable stamp and die cut die cut and stamp it's up to yourself you've got an outside die so you can cut in or cut out you've got your sentiments and you've got your dies that are going to work with the sentiments too so it's going to cut them out nice and neatly but that is one of them so we've got dragonfly dreams which would work with our limited stock dance and dragonfly set We've got beautiful butterflies, all exactly the same concept, but completely different designs. Colour them whichever medium you so wish. Once again, different sentiments with the outline die. 
We've then got thinking of you. And although that one is saying thinking of you, you don't necessarily have to use it for a thinking of you. You've got little birdies there, which you could be using for any time of the year. You've got your sentiments with the dies to go with them as well. And although the dies are a specific shape to match the stamp, you can be using the stamp completely on its own. And then last but by no means least, we have got our reindeers. This is one of our pop-out dies. So, you know, predominantly you'll use it in the middle of the card, but we have done shows where you can use them in different ways. It is titled Santa's Reindeer, but absolutely you could get away with it being a stag. You can use it in the winter time, any time of the year, and of course, a really, really good one for the mail cards. All of that, £30 or $40, that's 25 elements in total. But if you are platinum, as I say, it comes down to £24.32. All across on the website, the best place to go to when you are on the website, you will see the screen pop up with this show currently. Go underneath and you go, I would say, best one for me is Shop the Day. Everything that myself and Jan have shown you through Wake Up Call, Masterclass, and then, of course, later on in Beautiful Beginnings is there. Do that because you can take advantage of your triple points. And then, once you know what you want, have a look, Cars, Drock, Adesives, anything like that, because the triple points ends midnight your time. It is day seven of our 12 days of Craftmas. Right, Jan, we are going to have a look at these, aren't we? We are. We're going to have a look at that beautiful butterfly. These, I hadn't actually seen these before. These had escaped my, uh, my sort of BDI. And when these came for prepping, I thought, wow, completely different concept with these. So we've got the beautiful butterfly. You've got the most gorgeous stamp set. Uh, you can just see that imagery here. Uh, where it's surrounded by all the foliage and then I've got three separate sentiments in this one I've got every day is precious which I've actually stamped out and like Craig mentioned earlier you've got the dies to cut out those little sentiments so that they don't take up too much room over your image you've also got beautiful like a butterfly and spread your wings and then you get the metal work to go with them which you might think oh looks a bit odd mm -hmm. but I will explain we're going to do the stamping first uh, again, I'm going to sort of bring that stamping platform in. I'm also going to take the middle section of this because I found when I was actually positioning my stamp that it needs to be in a certain orientation to fit the actual die. Right. So you want to make sure that your stamp's sort of in the right place. So I'm going to lay it down in the centre and then just make sure that I've got room to cut out not only that one, but you get the border die to go with it as well. So I want to make sure that that all fits onto my cardstock. So that doesn't look too bad. And what happens is, is the, the certain parts of the, the here and at the side here and at the top that are anchored to the outline rectangle, which means that you're going to get sort of like a framed effect. So I'm being a little bit pedantic because I want to make sure it's straight, but I think we're good there. So just stamp up your image as normal. And I'm going to be using the crayons, believe it or not, this time. They are Ooh. going to make an appearance instead of the, uh, the old alcohol markers. So again, your choice of, you know, whatever it is you want to work with. If you're going to use a watercolour medium, just be mindful that you've got the right ink pad and it's got your watercolour uh, marker on there. And then again, let's stamp that out and get that down onto the card itself. I've got Nina cardstock under here again. You could use the multi-purpose card with the crayons. Uh, I wouldn't recommend the watercolour card because again that is designed for adding you know sort of water soluble mm -hmm. elements whether it be something like your sparkle inks or your actual water based pens. Just got a little bit there that didn't transfer and that's the beauty of having that platform where you can actually just re-stamp and get it in place. So I've got a little bit of, I think that's felt off the, uh, the ink pad. So I'm going to take that out of there now. And what I want to do now is line these pieces up on here to show you how this works. So again, just a little bit of that tape. And we're going to pop this one so that I can see all that stamped image. And there's plenty of space. You get that sort of little line around you the do, outside yeah. of it again. So it's not an exact right up to the line art. And then I'm just, well, I want to try and get the other one in as well. So if we pop this one round it, I'm going to hold that one in place. 
and I want this one around it. So this is going to create the border. So I want to make sure that I've got about an even spacing all the way around there. And then when I'm happy, I can tape all this down together. Okay. So if you have a look around the edge of here, we've got a pretty much an even space. So it's going to create me a frame here with the outside of that internal cutting edge and then the outside of this one is going to create a nice little frame. And then these bits here are going to cut away to actually show that lovely artwork in the middle. So I'm just going to bring those smaller plates in again for this one. It will fit through your midi as well. A little bit big for the mini, so it does need to be sort of the, min uh, the midi upwards. Okay. Pop that through. Just an outline die, so it's going to cut that out beautifully. It's a lovely, they're, well, all of them are lovely to colour. They you've are. Got, you've got nice yeah. detail, but they're lovely. It's, and I'm, I'm sure you probably know what I mean, and probably yourself as well, Jan. It's a satisfying design to colour. They are. They're, they're lovely. As I say, I hadn't come across these before. And I just thought, what a really, really nice idea. Uh, and yeah, you know, I mean, you're colouring like we've, we've talked about a lot this morning as to taking it to whatever level you're at with your colouring. But yeah, if we just take away that metal work, and I'll sort that out in a second. But you can just see now how we've got that beautiful framed element. And I just think that's a really novel idea. I've not seen that with a stamp before. Um, so again, you know, you could colour the whole frame in if you didn't want it white. It is very snippable. So if you did want the image as a topper mm -hmm. and maybe stamp more than once to deck, I mean, such as the butterfly like that would decoupage beautifully just by cutting, you know, some of the inside layers and layering it up. So it's very snippable along. You could easily remove that frame if you wanted to and make it just an individual you element. Could. But I loved the idea of this. And then literally this time, instead of the um, pens, I've just grabbed a set of my colouring pencils. So I have two lots of these, Craig. I'm very, very naughty. I have a set that I bring with me. Yeah. And then I've got my set, which I wouldn't bring on TV because they're like, <laughs> they're like this. They look like a, a Chinese puzzle where they're all different <laughs> heights, depending on what colour they are. So this is my really nice set that comes with me when I come on the TV. And, mm. you know, whatever colours you fancy, there's, again, there's no right and wrong with this. You can decide how you want to add colour. And the colouring pencils are beautiful because not only are they you know reminiscent of your childhood coloring you've got that art I can smell them just opening the tin I can yeah, smell the wax it, in them yeah. just opening the tin so the core in the pencils is pretty much high volume of wax uh, a lot of inexpensive pencils that you can buy I know when I first started I went and bought one of those big long tins that has about 50 different colours in it. Mm -hmm. Yes, I've got loads. But the more inexpensive ones have fillers in them. And those fillers can be things like chalk or even talc sometimes, which affect the quality of the pigment that you're getting through them. So these are a really high wax content with that pigment enclosed in them. And honestly, they are a dream to colour with, especially if you've got that nice smooth finish. I've got the, uh, the Nina cardstock here. So literally just adding a colour down and then I've just picked a slightly darker tone to add some sort of depth with it. And it depends, you know, how, again, as like I said earlier, if you want to stop at this phase and just leave it with that one tone in, absolutely fine. If you want to start and add a little bit of shading and have a practice with them, then, you know, this is where it sort of takes it up to that next level with yeah. your colouring. And just like you can shade with the um, pens, you can do the same and blend with these. So I usually go back to the light one again and just give it a, a slight blend in. So, Jan, if you're like, using the, the pencils as you are, would you recommend the Nina cardstock? I like the smooth surface, I must admit. Either Nina or the multi-purpose card. But to be honest, Craig, the most of my colouring is done on the um, Nina. Yeah, absolutely. So you can see a little bit of the leaves there. And then depending on where you want to go with the... Um, 
the butterfly you know you can take whatever color you fancy there's no rule you know butterflies in nature there's some beautiful colors in yeah. them so you know it, it can be very fantasy sort of base it doesn't have to be realistic if you want it to look more realistic you know if you happen to have a friend who likes you know butterflies and they like the real thing then you can just get a picture of the real thing and, and emulate those colors but i just like the idea of um, of adding something to it you know that's a little bit different so again i'm just going to pop um some different ones in. i'm not color the whole thing because right. i've got uh, one finish but just to, you know just to sh honestly i cannot explain how beautiful these lay down onto the card it just flows onto there so if you're not it bothered does. about the alcohol coloring and you fancied having a go you know just with the actual crayons themselves these are absolutely gorgeous you're going to get a really nice sort of professional finish but i am literally coloring in like we learned to do when we were you know when we were kiddies yeah and i always loved coloring then so maybe i was destined for this kind of work maybe eventually. actually it took me a while to find it but uh, yeah i think maybe i was sort of destined to, to do something like this in the end so again you know just adding slightly darker colors in there and then where they overlap I usually just sort of bring that lighter one back in again. But you can just see how that colour lays down. And then when you've finished, if I just bring this one in, I've just backed this on some darker colour so that, that literally that artwork actually pops out there. You can see how I've sort Look of started that, that colour. But again, you know, it, the, the dye does all the work. It's given you that sort of template to work with. Just by adding the colour in the background has made that artwork pop out there. And then again, I've just kept it as a very, very simple card. I didn't want to make it too fussy. I'm just going to pop it on a background card. And I've literally made the size of the card to fit this so okay. i started with this and i've worked up with my mats and layers so my finished card ended up at four and a half by just over five and a half so it'll be the length of the a4 folded in half it's got a top fold and then again i've just been and picked one or two colors that, that sort of match what i've done on here and i'm going to pop this one as a background layer so this is just a little bit of one of our uh, satin miri cards from one of the collections i've got I a stash of that on one shelf i've yeah. got a stash of the shiny mirror card on another shelf you know you know how it goes craig Absolutely, yeah. and then i've done the same again with just some white card on for the inside to pop your message i just find that particularly with the top folding cards if you've ever got that um I know it's fondly referred to as giraffe legs, where your card does this mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and folds down. Yeah, sometimes it's because they're a little bit heavy at the front. So by just adding another layer inside to give it a bit of stability, you find that it sort of holds its weight a bit better. Yeah, it does. And then I was going to go straight on here, and I thought we've got a lot of green going on there. So to just break it up a bit, I've cut a piece of pink the same time, uh, same size as the front, and I'm literally. Gonna put, I'm, I'm doing an angle well You're today. going on the wonk again. I know, and I just want a little bit of it peeking out like that just to add and pick the, the pink out of the colour. So, yeah, I'm quite pleased with myself today because I don't normally go on the wonk very often. It, it, it worries my OCD mm -hmm. that things have yeah, to be straight. That. So, uh, yeah, I thought if I just twisted that a little bit so that when we add this one, and again, I've got that foam on the back of this because I wanted a nice solid piece again. So wherever I've got the foam, I usually bring in the, um, the tacky glue mm -hmm. just yeah, to go really on the good. back of there. That's so fab. And again, I'm gonna bring this one back straight so that we've just got a little bit of that pink peeking out there to, to sort of coordinate with the coloring and then i've just added some of the little dew drops that i had in my stash and those a lot of those are from our um subscription boxes yes uh, they have a lot of the little dew drops in there so again and i like those because you can color them with your pens if you wanted a certain color and then again this is from the stamp set so i've got every day is precious which it, it is in whatever way you want to interpret that couple of little foam pads on the back I've used the die to cut that out and because I just I don't want to cover up too much of that beautiful work I'm just going to pop it down in the corner there and again really really sweet and simple and again it will stand wow. up now that we stabilize that back element of it as well
really, really is fab, Jan. That really, yeah. really is. So much love for it. We'll have a look at the comments again in a moment. What I'll do is I'll do a little bit of a recap. Jan, if you don't mind setting up your cards that you've done within Masterclass, yeah. and we'll get ready to do a vote for demo of the show. I'll go over these ones again, and then uh, there's something else I want to go over before I have a quick look at the comments, because we're just about at the end of the show. Oh, to be honest. Flowing in. Flowing in. by again. So this is your Animal Antics Create a Card selection where you've got 25 elements in total. So remember, you are getting your Santa's reindeer. This one here being the pop-out for the middle of your card, but you can absolutely use that any time of the year and really good for the males. But then let's actually go in with the butterfly first because this is the one that Jan used a moment ago. So we've got beautiful butterflies. So you've seen how Jan layered it, how she created her card and how well it all works together. It's the exact same concept for your thinking of you and it is the exact same concept for your dragonfly dreams. And of course, you can be using the stamps on their own or as Jan also said, which goes for all of these, they are really easy to snip out if you want to then just go and uh, create a layer just for the stamp without the frame, you can easy enough do that, of course. £30 or $40, but if you are platinum, it's going to come down to £24 or $32. Right, Teo, so if you are watching live, we've just got about eight or nine minutes left to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump across to Jan and she's going to show you all these incredible makes that she's done within today's masterclass. So it was all about the animals then today. So top of the show, we had those... Um, uh, were they animal antics, I think, yes. weren't they? Oh, no, animals with attitude, I think that, they were. That was it. Sets, yeah. So we've got um, the zebra, the flamingo, and the giraffe in there, which is just a few of those eight, eight different designs. So that was number one there. Okay. Number two, we did the little sort of paper piecing with those um, Christmas and everyday stamp sets Love there. Love it. Just making the little gift box. So that was number two. Number three was that little uh, scene with the cute characters there <laughs> going down the hill to meet their friend. It is. I just think they're so, so sweet. They really they are. are. And then number four, we've just done with that beautiful creator card set and the crayons there, just adding that detail to the front of that one with the, uh, the colouring pencils. So that was number four. Beautiful. So one, two, three or four. Oh, I'm glad I'm not you at home, put it that way. <laughs> so glad I'm not uh, you at home. Uh, we've got another one to show you. Let's just uh, finish off with some of the comments here. We've got Violet saying, love my stamping platform like the Gemini and the ultimate crafting must-haves. I would agree with you. Michelle is saying, I absolutely love the CC coloured pencils. I won't use any others now. CC has spoiled me. We love the best. Say, we love the best. We do. You know what Leanne's like. Leanne insists all across the company, but certainly as well when it comes to Spectrum Noir being her baby, 100%. Having that best and having that artist quality, but it's at an affordable price, that's the isn't, thing, it? Jan, isn't it? Normally, if you went out and bought artist quality materials, they would cost you, you know, there's several names I could drop that are in that sort of that 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 media but i just think being able to buy something like that that you know has got that seal of approval but they're at such an affordable price mm -hmm, and that's difference. the difference i think with crafters companion isn't it it's it is. being able to afford that quality and getting the results then every single time yeah. absolutely Rhonda is also saying the color blend pencils enhance your alcohol coloring which yes, we've not even touched do. upon yeah, that's another absolutely technique do. you can do with them. And don't worry, anything like that, if we mention techniques or talk about anything, you're like, well, what are you on about? Go across on our Crafters TV YouTube and just type in the, the pens or the die sets or stamp sets, see what comes up because we've got abundance of ideas across there. Mary Reno on YouTube is saying, that's gorgeous, Jan. We've got Gina saying, beautiful, Jan. Thank you for encouraging me on using the pencils. So that was from Jean. And then Rachel is saying, our Michelle loves going on the wonk. Maybe she's rubbing off on you. You, Jan. Maybe. Maybe. And uh, last one for this show. It's actually a question. Once again, it's from Wolf Dark Eyes Moonwater. I think it's a really good one to uh, fire across to Jan, saying, I'm not that good at telling my white papers apart from my watercolour paper, alcohol paper, regular stock paper. Is there a way of telling them apart from each other? 
Right, there is actually. Um, the, the top three that I use as far as white cardstock's concerned, number one on the list would be the multi-purpose cardstock. So that does lots of different things, hence why we change the name. Any of you out there that have our stamping card, it's exactly the same card, but for a very long time, and I knew you were the same, Craig, we kept saying, it's doing it an injustice because we can do lots more mm -hmm. with it than just stamp on it, hence the multi-purpose. That one's a 300 GSM card, so it's quite weighty if you compare that to your Nina cardstock which I tend to use for my alcohol coloring not only is it lighter in weight it's about 216 GSM it's 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 got a slight it's not pure white mm -hmm. I yeah. wouldn't say it's cream no. but you'll see the difference if you hold them side by side I think in fact let me show you because okay. I've got some scraps down here that I've not used let me just grab a bit of each and show you what I mean because this is the multi-purpose card and it's got a real good weight to it so you can use, use it for construction for card bases die cutting as well as stamping on it as well but if i put this on top of it i don't know whether we could yeah you can you see can, there yeah, can't can't you? Yeah. it's not actually cream but it's a different tone and it's much thinner so you'll be able to tell those two apart quite easily and what i would do if that's the case is get a little piece of each and just write on it that that one's your multi-purpose this is your nina and then the watercolor card if i just grab a piece i think i've got some of that down under there as well again the watercolor card is slightly what i call pitted and again i don't know whether our george can pick this up if i hold it there george can we have a see if we can get that tech it's almost like orange peel texture on it it's not easy to see on the white cardstock there, but uh, you can just pick it up. It's got a slight texture to it. Thank you, George. And again, it's quite robust, mm -hmm. this one, but this is for anything to do with water. So whether you're using your aqua pens, whether you're using inks on there, the water reactive inks, whether you're using sparkle inks, whether you're using a paintbrush with anything, this one's made to absorb the water. It's, it's almost like the old blotting paper that you used to have in the, uh, the days where you Use the ink pen so yeah what i would do is actually get a little swatch of each you maybe only need something about this size and just pop on it multi-purpose watercolor and nina and maybe what it's for yeah. so multi-purpose speaks for itself watercolor speaks for itself nina majority of the time this is what i use for my alcohol coloring so i hope that helps that definitely, and you yeah. can see there looking at all three of them there there's a definite difference between them Big time. it's just we use it all the time so we get to know that pretty well Brilliant. Thank you so much for that one, Jan. Hopefully that's helped in anyone else as well. Right, we do have a result, but I'm going to show you one very last quick thing before yep. we end the show here. We have got our Animal Antics stamp and die selection where you've got 88 elements in total. £30 or $37 or platinum comes down to £24 or $29.60. On that today's price, you've got a 70% saving. You heard me right, 70%. Now, we have got, you can see within this one here, we've got our floating by, we've got all ears, we have got flying by, we have got go bananas, and we have got smitten as a kitten. Now, all of these are penny slider styles, so you can create your penny sliders. Of course, you could use the stamps if you want. Do you know what you can do as well? Use some of the small characters that Jan was using earlier on and use them as the penny sliders. Some matching them. going nice on there, way. aren't they? Yeah. But I'm not finished. We've got You're a Hoot. We've also got Born to be Wild. That's one of my favourite stamps, that one. I Brilliant, love, isn't I it? love colouring that one. And these ones, these are stamping dies as well. Yeah. You do get dies to go with them that will die cut selective parts of the stamped image. We've got Believe in Yourself, and then we've got Twirling Butterflies. The concept of this one, die cut an aperture within your card, thread some ribbon between two of the butterflies and it twirls in the middle. It is on our YouTube, type that in and you will find them. Today's price, £30 or $37. That has given you your 70% uh, saving, £24 platinum or $29.60. But we've got a few finished samples from Jan to show you. I've got a couple to show you back. 
concept and yeah these were actually launched as our penny slider collection so again if you want to go back and have a look on youtube and just type in crafters companion penny sliders it'll bring up some of the shows where we launch these but essentially there's a little penny behind the character and there's the cutaway element so that when you move him and he's not stuck he actually rolls along there in the background so we've got the little uh, monkey there cheeky little monkey we've got a similar kind of thing with the kitten there so i've just picked a couple out so they, they tend to get a little bit stuck when they're uh, they're in our library but you can just see how they slide backwards and forwards and tumble there, there. and then just very quickly that twirling one uh, again the there idea we is, with yeah. these is that you actually turn it several times you want something like the clear fishing wire or something like that or a nice uh, thread turn it so it's and then pop it in the envelope nice and flat so that when your recipient receives it and they open it if you just watch the little character in the center well, he's going to twirl around there and again just i think for kiddies as well that that Love kinetic it, that you? movement in there yeah. it just to get them isn't it yeah brilliant thank you for showing us them john they are across on our website go to shop the day you're going to find them all there right demo of the show it was certainly a hard one however i'm not surprised this one it has gone to number number four number four that mm -hmm. oh that was the butterfly wasn't the butterfly. it with the crayons yes number four that's number that's it go. Beautiful. thank you very much guys so that's going to go up against jan within wake up call <laughs> and then it's also going to go up against jan later on in beautiful beginnings once again uh jan thank you so much You're welcome so much love for you and seeing what you create within this master thank class you. Do you fancy doing it one last time later on? Shall we on? meet up again in a little Let's while? Let's go and have a bite and a Let's cooker go and again. Do that. And we'll meet up in a couple of hours, I think, this we time. We will do, definitely. Yeah, if you are watching live, then we will be back 6pm here in the UK, 1pm Eastern Time, 10am Pacific Time, where we are going to be having a beautiful beginnings on this Wednesday day. Thank you to Rachel. I believe that is her now for the rest of the day. Uh, but we will see you live in a couple of hours for beautiful beginnings. Bye.